Hey everyone, I got a really exciting episode for you guys today. So I scraped my company's annual report, which is public information, and I packed everything into a Q&A pair. So what that means is I look at the annual report, scraped all text from its 300 pages document, and create this question answer pair in the database, and I build a chat bot around it. So in this episode, we're going to discuss what that process looked like and what have I found. As a full disclaimer, annual report is public available information. My company is an S&P 500 company. So what that means is all these are public information and it's not like I'm disclosing secret anywhere. So with that being said, let's get started. So first things first, I Google LabCorp Investor Relations. Now, I know that is the front end for when investors want to take a look at the annual report. That's the website they go to. So I start Googling from there. As you see here, all public information, clicking that link. This is public available. So I scroll down. I look for annual report. And there you go, financial documents. So I click on that link and then you have a couple of public available link here that says annual report. And that is precisely the link that I used. So clicking that, it will give you PDF document. So this is the PDF document that's called 10K. It's the annual report for public traded company here in the United States that's gone through the auditing process, is proved and released by SEC. So that is kind of like the golden standard if you want to investigate how strong the books are for a public traded company. So once again, all public information, I'm just looking through this document online and that is the document I scraped and as you can see right here it says 307 so that means this document actually has 307 pages so if I'm just a nobody and I kind of want to get an understanding on a high level of what this company is doing I'm probably just gonna skim through some of these pages look through the contents see what I can get now that may or may not be helpful right so if I want to get an in-depth understanding of this documentation, well, it's very challenging. And chances are, I am not going to go through every single page of the 300 page documentation. So that is precisely the purpose that I'm creating this episode for all of you guys, which is to make that process, make that pipeline a little bit more efficient. So the first thing we're going to do is write a Python notebook to scrape everything on this document, which really is just a PDF document. So let me take your attention to this function here on VS Code. That is the ID that I use to create all these functions. First function is extract PDF text. So what that means is it's going to take a file path, which is a string as input argument, and it's going to return a list of strings. And you can probably guess that list of strings has contents of information from that PDF document. So reading the PDF document, use PDF reader, all these are standard and public packages. Check the length of pages, loop through every page, grab the page, extract text, append it. Done. That is the first function. And that function needs to exist to get the raw text out of that PDF document. Now the second part is I need a pen and data frame because I need the context, I need a question and answer pair. The question answer pair is of course created using context. Context is from the list of strings that we just extracted from that PDF document above. So here this next function is called get questions. This get question function takes context in as an input argument, which is just a string, and it returns another string because it needs to ask a question. So here we make an API call on the OpenAI library and we call a function completion and this is your good old school Q&A model that is essentially the same one as behind ChatGPT and we do a little prompt engineer we say hey we have this text below and the text below is that context that we scraped from that PDF document please write a question for us done so this prompt will tell ChatGPT to create a question based on that context from whatever sub-sentence, sub-strings from that PDF document. And that's the question. And we're going to do the same thing for answer. So here, this function called getAnswers, it takes a panda data frame as input because it already assumes that 
the pandas data frame has a list of questions that's created from the previous Python function. And then it returns a string because for each row, each question, we want to return a string of an answer. So here we make a second API call of OpenAI function called completion. It's the same function as above, but we're going to engineer the prompt a little bit more differently. We're going to say write the answer, again, limit to one paragraph because we don't want our tokens to blow up, right? And then we don't want it to just write anything. We want to write the answer based on the text below. So that means whatever context, whatever questions that in that documentation that we extracted earlier, that's the premise. We asked ChatGPT to create the answer based on that. So that is the key here. Now is how we created the question answer pair. And now with that being said, you have your Excel spreadsheet and we're done. And then in the previous episode, we talked about this shiny app backed by Python that you can use to create this chatbot. And that's essentially what I used. That the only thing I changed is that condition. So this is a CSV file, right? I create the context that is column B. I create a question that's column C. I create the answer that's column D. This gives me that question answer corpus. And I'm using this as a value pair to give me that database so that I can create a chatbot around it. And as you can see, this row down here is 306. So that matches the page number in that PDF document that we saw earlier. And that's it. That's how this corpus is created. And we can front it with that chatbot that we talked about in the previous episode. So in order to show you guys the difference of the answers before and after the ChatGPT is built using this customized data or not, let's pick a question here. Let's throw that same question into this new chatbot and the ChatGPT. And let's see how different the answers are. So here I have a question what are the types of services that DD provides? Now, of course, you guys might not know this. DD here is short for drug development. It's not a commonly known short name. So it's specific to that documentation that's customized in this exercise. So let's grab that question. And here we make sure to use this drop down button to select the annual report 2022 so that the app is pointing to the right corpus. And then we put our questions here and say, ask me anything. So here's a chat history that it provides. The user asks, what are the types of services that DD provides? The key here is to have this chatbot recognize what DD means, because it's not a commonly known short name, right? The answer says, DD provides a wide range of services for the life sciences industry, including drug discovery, development, and commercialization services. These services include, and blah, 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 it gives a list of different types of services that drug development could have. Now, I thought that is interesting because let's take the same question and throw that into ChatGPT. So here I have the ChatGPT window open. Let's put the same question here. Let's hit enter. And then it's going to give you something that's complete nonsense. It's not tied up to the documentation. And literally, it could mean a whole list of definition from ChatGPT. So now you guys see the difference, right? If you use ChatGPT directly without customized data, ChatGPT is going to give you something that is really just from random website. That really could be anything from the internet. Here it says, as of my knowledge cutoff in September 2021, DD also known as DD Chuxing. It's a Chinese transportation network company that provides a range of services, including transportation and mobility. Sure, DD could also mean that. I don't know, right? But that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for particular sets of answer based on particular sets of domain. So the purpose to show you guys this video is we can get past that. You can provide any PDF document, you can scrape that document, and you can build your own chatbot around it. There you go. I hope this video demonstrates how different that answers can be from this type of chatbot services. And if you guys like the video, give a like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.